The lava flow, which was flowing uh, in both directions, south and north, from the K1 crater, it seems has now disappeared or is not visible as easy as it was. You can see that the lava lake is empty. We just see the glow of something at the depth of it, but nothing more than that. And uh, this is a close-up of that. You can see that you just receive the glow. It's quite deep, 9 to 10 meters as I uh, estimated. We look uh, from a distance. This is what you will see. And in the far away, you can see the tongue of the lava is advancing. That's probably because, and due to the um, lava lake being completely drained, all the lava is now out of it or just there is no rim to it. It's just flowing out. It's not much lava in that sense. We didn't see much in this direction, that is the south. And to the north, we just see some uh, steam rising, nothing more than that. And that is toward the left. This is a little bit uh, reassuring because it seems the advancement of the lava toward the source energy power plant, which was a major concern for us, has now stopped. Uh, you can see this is the view toward the sourcing and also the road and the defenses and the lava tongue which was uh, in the past few days was uh, moving has now completely seems or near stop situation we don't see any push over the uh, defense wall or mark the road that's what you can see this is the road and this is the lava tongue we saw and the toward the lower part of the lava tongue is the defenses that we have. So it's not breaching the defense wall of the sourcing in that area. What is worrying for me at the moment is that the movement and the earthquakes which are happening at the uh, Krisovic volcanic system, that is around that central part, just lower to the center, lower part to the center, you can see clusters of earthquakes uh, concentrated in that area. And I have a video about this. This is a Krisovic volcanic system, which is more, uh, you know, dangerous and eruptive than what we have now in the Fager Death Flow in the past, and we have now in the Swarsing volcanic system. We're going again to study the depth uh, diagram of the earthquakes at the uh, Swarsengi, Blue Lagoon, and uh, Grindavik, and this time uh, for the interesting part that the clay forwards is playing in that. That's a part of the Krisovic volcanic system. Just a few days ago, the earthquakes were small. They were all at the depth of 5 kilometers. Now it seems they're rising. We have bigger earthquake, 3.3 we had, and then the earthquakes are getting shallower, rising. Up to now, what we had at the depth of 5 kilometers was the fault lines transferring the movement from the Swartzengi toward the east. And with that was the reason we had earthquakes in the uh, Christovic and uh, Claire Forward uh, area. Now, it seems that area has opened up just enough that the magma is jumping through the cracks that are created, through the uh, um, gaps, and coming up, those smaller earthquakes are a sign of magma rising. They can decrease or they can increase by the depth. So we have two scenarios. One scenario is that the earthquake will rise, magma with them rising, and they will increase when they reach the surface. Another th scenario is that they will decrease, actually. We may not have bigger uh, earthquakes anymore, and the rising of a magma will stop at some depth, forming a seal, practically. And this is the situation that we are now seeing. We have to wait and see. Up to now, it was moving the transferring through the transform faults toward the east. Now we, it seems the Krisovic is actually awakening. It may lead and uh, create a pathway for the magma to rise from the depth of the 10 kilometer, which is across toward the 5 and the 5 rising to the surface. This is a scary situation because we are the Sortsengi, Blue Lagoon, Grindavik volcanic system is now active and the magma movement in that direction can actually increase the chances of the you know, risk to the buildings and the structures in the vicinity of those areas, including the uh, Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. 